Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm John Lowe, we are back. And right next to me, we're having a, look like a basketball, but he is an MMA fighter. Uh, we'll be making his MMA debut on our upcoming event, John Lowe Cage Fighting Series number one, August 24, uh, August 28 at the heart of San Francisco, Kizar Pavilion. Now, um, let's introduce you to yourself, Dimitri Giorgiotti, um, making your MMA debut. Like, where are you coming from and where you train at? Dimitri. So I trained out at Christian BJJ in Pleasanton, but originally I'm from South Africa. I was actually born in Cape Town. I grew up in Chicago, but I moved to the Bay Area when I was in like sixth grade. And if we're being honest, I'm a Bay kid at heart, you know what I mean? I like to scrap and I'm tough from Chicago. I'm tough because I'm from South Africa, but I like to get hiking. I like to get down. I like to have fun. And I'm, like I said, I'm a Bay kid at the heart. That's pretty awesome. Now, so you live in the East Bay. Yes, sir. And you train with Crispin BJJ. How long have you been training with Crispin? So I've been training with Christian since 2019, March, yeah, March 2019 and stuff. So I've been there for a little over two years and stuff. Even during the pandemic, you know, I was, I was working there and stuff. So we would be going in, kind of figuring out how we would be doing things after the pandemic. But shit, we ended up rolling, training, doing stuff between me, him, and German stuff. So at the end of the day, we was training nonstop every day, day in, day out. Now, if anyone is looking at you, they're so tall. How, how tall are you? I mean, six five. Six foot five. Do you ever think about, like, before MMA comes along, you ever think about basketball or like other sports? I mean, I used to play soccer, I used to play volleyball, I used to play basketball, I used to play all these other sports, but it, it wasn't contact enough for me, it wasn't rough enough for me. I like to get in there. Fortunately, it's frowned upon to punch somebody in the face in basketball, so. You know, I, 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 wasn't, I wasn't allowed to do that, you know what I mean? So, that, that really wasn't my sport, but MMA and, and like wrestling, was what, was what, which is what I started out with. That was perfect for me because I could get in there, I could grind it out with somebody, I could get rough with them, and it wasn't trying to get a foul, get called, nothing. So it, it was perfect for me. Yep. So what do you see yourself in the MMA sport? Do you see yourself like a make a living out of it? Someday become a professional, trying to fight on a big lead, or do yourself do you see yourself make a career out of this fighting? Oh, for sure. I see myself making a career out of this fighting, going pro with this. I see myself. Up there with the top names, you know, John Jones, some of the bigger names, you know, Conor McGregor, some of these names that, you know, are, are synonymous with MMA. Because at the end of the day, you know, I know my abilities and people talk about, oh, I'm the king, I'm the king. The king ain't even stepping in that cage yet. You're going to see his debut August 28th. That's pretty awesome. Nice, really class act and the speech, you know, um, speak out of the heart. That's pretty awesome. I really love that because how old are you, Dimitri? I'm, uh, I'm 23 years old. Young. So, so 23 years of a young age entering the MMA sport, um, you have a bright future ahead of you. Now, you're so tall and long, I know you're fighting 170 pounds. What do you walk around weighing? I don't walk around like 180, 185. I eat clean 24-7, you know what I mean? This isn't just like a, a fight type of thing. It's a lifestyle for me. I eat clean year-round. I'm, I'm healthy year-round. I do all my shit year-round. I'm not a, oh, I got to fight. Okay, now time to get healthy, time to get in shape. You ain't gonna catch me out of shape because at the end of the day, you never know when a fight's gonna come. So I'm ready 24 7 any day of the week. Good mindset. Now, do you ever see yourself fighting in a different weight class? Like, because you have a lot of options. When you're being that tall and long, I mean, I see guys like, like Rumble Johnson used to fight at 170 and then 185, 205. Now he's heavyweight. You have all that option. Do you ever see yourself fighting a higher weight class? Shit, I'll fight whoever wants it. At the end of the day, if a heavyweight wants to call me out or wants to catch these hands, <laughs> you know what I mean? They can catch these hands and I'll make that way or I'll stay at my way and I'll still fight them. I don't really care. Like I said, I'm confident in my abilities. If a heavyweight wants it, I'll fight a heavyweight. If a light heavyweight wants it, I'll fight a light heavyweight. Hell, if a featherweight wants it, I'll cut that weight and fight the featherweight. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I'm down for this fight and I'm down for whoever that wants it. Do you think you can actually make 155? I certainly can try. I don't know what I can see, but you don't know unless you try, right? So right. I can definitely try. And if I can, ooh. you got that frame, like John Jones' frame. That's like what I'm saying. Six foot five, long arms, and if I can make one fifty five, man, y'all, y'all, that would be the y'all, y'all in trouble. The longest fifty fives I've known, oh, pretty yeah. much. I never seen the hundred six foot five. But now your upcoming fight, um, you against uh, um, uh, uh, what what Mayo. Miles Robinson? Robinson, you against Miles Robinson uh, from 10th Planet, from uh, San Mateo. What, what's your thought of fighting a guy like him? You know, I, I don't know too much about the guy. You know, I know that he got his purple belt from 10th Planet, but he said I'm San Mateo and stuff, but I don't know too much about the guy. At, but at the end of the day, you know, he, he could be a great grappler, he could be a great striker. I, I'm, I'm better. You know, if he, if he got good hands, I got better hands. If he got a good grappling, I got better grappling. So wherever he wants to take it, or whatever style he wants it, I'm more than welcome to 
welcome that and, and beat him with it. You know, if he wants to stand a bang, he gonna catch these hands and get knocked the fuck out. If he wants to take it to the ground and grapple, shit, I please, I welcome it. You know what I mean? I'll choke you the fuck out. So at the end of the day, whatever he wants to do, we can do. And like I said, I don't know too much about him. He's making his debut. I'm making my debut. So it's going to be a fun fight. That's pretty awesome. Now, are you pretty much the way I look at you? I'm assuming you're going to keep it standing, keeping your range outside because you utilize that reach. Is that going to, is that what we're going to expect him to watching you? Yeah, I mean, if I can use my reach, for sure. But if, like I said, if he wants to bring it in the clinch, I'm more than welcome to throw some knees, you know what I mean? I'll sweep him, I'll throw some trips, you know what I mean? If he wants to take it to the ground, I'm more than welcome to get down on the ground, play the jiu-jitsu game with him, play the talk game with him, play the ground and pound game with him. So whatever he wants to do. I may be long, I know how to use my reach, but I also know how to get inside and play dirty and do that dirty boxing and the dirty fighting. Pretty awesome. Well, this is definitely a treat for all the MMA fight fans out there in the Bay Area. So making sure you guys stay tuned to watching this two up and comer making their debut on our upcoming event. Now, if people want to get a hold of you to, to get tickets to watching you fight, how can people contact you? So the best way to contact me is through Instagram. My Instagram is Dimitri, the rapper, all one word, first name, D-E-M-E-T-R-I, the rapper afterwards. We used to make music and still my handle. So until I change it, just follow me on there, y'all. And I promise you, you can follow me. I'll follow back. You hit my line, I'll message you back. Even if you want to talk shit, I'll talk shit back. So follow <laughs> me, you know what I mean? And if you my DMs, let me know what you think. Uh, do you actually really rapping? Uh, yeah, I used to rap. I actually got a couple songs out and stuff. I got a lot more that like, I meant to record, but you know, fine is my full time thing. So it's more for when I got the time for it. You know, I'll, I'll record some music, drop some music, but. You know, it's, it's my stress relief at the end of the day. No, it's, you know, fighting's what I love to do. Do you have a, a full-time job right now? It's fighting and training. You know, I, I teach at my gym and stuff. So I teach the, jiu the kids jiu-jitsu. I teach some of the kids stand-up. I can teach some of the, the adults jiu-jitsu and stuff, some of the adults stand-up. So. You really live and breathe into the sport. Oh, yeah. You know, I've been doing, I've wrestled since sixth grade. You know, I've been doing Muay Thai here and there since then. So martial arts has been my whole life at the end of the day. This is all I know and this is all I, I really want to do. I dropped out of college twice for this. So, you know, if that doesn't tell you how much I'm, dev I'm devoted to this, then I don't know what does, because I got nothing else to fall back on, because there's nothing else to fall back on besides fighting, and for me, this is all I want to do. Sometimes, plan B is not an option. Why have plan B when plan A is all you want? That's it. You go all the way, right? Exactly. That's, that's pretty awesome. Well, I can't wait to watching you perform, and exciting to watching the debut, because you really don't know what to expect. There you go. When, the, when the cage lock, the bells goes on. Here we go, let's rumble. So uh, August 28th, make sure you guys don't miss it out. Now, do you have any special loved one, a coaches, training partner that you wanna shout out to? Yeah, I, mean, I wanna shout out my girlfriend, you know, who's always been there for me. She supports me even when the days when it gets hard and stuff and I'm tired, she's the one that helps pick me up. I wanna shout out my coach, Chris Beam, who literally has given me everything I know. Jeremiah, Sean Rose, my training partners, who also, you know, spent day in, day out with me, training with me, as well as just, you know, all the members at my gym, shit. They spent every class trying to choke me out, knock me out, beat me up. So if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't get better. You know, metal, iron sharpens iron and metal sharpens metal. So at the end of the day, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to do this. So just shout out to all of them and much love to everybody, y'all. That's awesome. Now, if your opponent, Maya, watching this interview, what do you have to say then? Just be ready for August 28th. I know you said you can't expect anything, but what you can't expect is a fight for it to be fun, my man. So bring your A game, I'm gonna bring mine and let's give these fans something to uh, watch. Awesome. Now, originally, I was having you matching up with a different guy, but the guy doesn't want to fight you, you know, due to because he doesn't want to do the three two-minute round, want to do three three-minute round, don't want to fight a debut guy. So I get it, you know. So now you have a, a very game opponent also making his debut. It's I know how he's going to fight, vice versa. So it's a very exciting matchup. As a matchmaker, I'm very curious about how this fight's going to turn out because. I never see either one of them fight, and I don't know either one of them how you guys fight. So it's gonna be definitely a very, very good, challenging, you know, show to, to watching. It's gonna be awesome. Um, any last word you want to say to anyone else? Just make sure y'all tune in. It's about to be a fun fight, and you're about to see one of the greatest journeys start August 28th. You're gonna see the start of it there, and the end of it's gonna be who knows where. But it's gonna be the top. That's all I can say. Yes. Well, a lot of a lot of fighters that start on my show that end up either in UFC, Bellator. LFA, you know, like all the other big leagues in the world. So oh, yeah. definitely a good platform. It's the biggest regional uh, professional MMA show in Northern California. So stay tuned, guys. Check out DragonHouseMMA.com. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give me a little bit of love and support. And then please follow me on the IG, Dragon underscore House underscore MMA. We keep putting on all the epic events for all the five fans out there. Uh, please show some love to come support your local fighter, support your local promotions. 
and uh, I'm John Lowe. Keep putting all this good events for all the out, all the five fans out there. Um, awesome to have a Dimitri making his debut on our upcoming event. It's been two years laid off from all the sports and then for all the entertainment events. First time back, first one back in all during this pandemic. So I'm very excited to oh, yeah. put on a show for all the MMA five fans out there. Anything else you want to say? I guess we want to see who's been working during the pandemic and who's been sitting back, chilling out, relaxing. Pretty awesome. Good to have you on board, Dimitri. Yeah, thank you. I'm Joe Lowe signing out. Boop.